All right, so tonight's homework should be fairly simple. We're talking about body paragraphs and conclusions. So basically, um, we're going to learn about the components of a body paragraph, usage of transitions, and conclusions within an essay. So let's get started. All right, so body paragraphs in an essay. It basically sets the stage. Um, the writer set the stage for the body paragraphs in your intro. So you need to clearly and in order tell your reader what you're going to be talking about in your essay in your intro. So the reader is prepared and knows what's going to happen. Follow that plan as you write the body of your paper. The first sentence of each body paragraph makes it clear to the reader what the paragraph is going to be about. This is the main idea of that paragraph. It's called a topic sentence. We've talked about it in paragraph structure already, so you should know what that means. And then the rest of the sentences tell the reader more or prove that main idea and, and provide all of the supporting details. Um, they explain, discuss, and elaborate on that main idea. Now, with transitions, just like in a standalone paragraph, or summaries, transitions keep the reader on track. They kind of signal when you're switching from one main idea to the other. And the longer the piece of writing is, the more important the transitions become. Please remember to avoid using first, second, and third when you're thinking about your transitions. There's a ton more transitions you could use. In fact, you even have a transition list on Schoology. Remember to use it. Avoid. First, we're going to talk about this. Second, we're going to talk about this. And third and finally, this is what we're going to talk about. If you do that, I will give you the paperback and make you redo it. Avoid first, second, and third. Okay, tips on transitions. Use variety and try to rearrange them in the sentence so it's not the transition at the beginning every single time. This is what's going to start making you a more advanced writer versus a very beginning proficient writer. So if you're shooting for a B or an A, you're going to start thinking about carefully placing your transitions. Now, expanding your body paragraphs. The sentences after the topic sentence tell the reader more information and prove something or help expand your main ideas and content. So keep the writing from being boring and list-like by explaining more and, and telling me more description. It gives the reader more specific information on your main idea and again, avoid being boring. Okay. So how can you elaborate your ideas? Well, add any interesting, different, unusual, not so obvious information. Be specific. Use writing in your own voice. Maybe even use personal examples. Think about being original and new. Again, we're trying to avoid being boring. Put some jazz in your writing, right? Remember the video? Right, right, right? You know what I'm talking about? Okay, moving on. All right, so in your concluding paragraph, you're going to restate the thesis from the introduction. You're going to summarize some of the highlights of the article. And then sometimes you'll even finish with maybe a sentence that really leaves your reader thinking about what you covered in the essay. Use some of the same keywords from your intro in your conclusion. You're really supposed to mimic the intro. So once you have your intro done, your conclusion's practically already finished for you. You're going to copy a lot of the same information. It kind of seems redundant, but it's not to the reader. You're reminding them what your essay is actually about. So very similar to, and I know none of you do this, but very similar to when you have some homework and you've forgotten and you're sitting at the lunch table and you're like, oh my God, I've got to do my math homework. Please give me your homework. I want to copy yours. And then you copy it, but you copy it in such a way that you slightly change the wording around or tritely move, you know, pick a few questions to get wrong that the other person did get wrong. So you're copying, but then you're not copying. Your intro and your conclusion is kind of the same way. I know you think your teachers don't know you do this, but guess what? They know. We're not that dumb. So similar in fashion to when you copy your best friend's homework, you're going to copy the intro in your conclusion. So they look very similar, and I'm going to prove to you how similar they actually look. So here's a copy of an intro talking about writing a research paper. It says research might not be the most fun super sleuthing activity. However, when teenagers are learning to do research, they need to master several skills. Throughout your educational career, you will be asked to do several research essays. Students need to find appropriate sources, take notes that will be meaningful and useful, and organize their notes to plan a well-written paper. So that's the intro. What's the conclusion look like? Well, we're mimicking or copying the intro to make it look a lot like the conclusion, and I'll show you how close they are. This sentence, for example, Let's copy it and put it into our conclusion. Right here, we're using some of the same words, but we're changing it up just a little bit. So for example, it says teenagers need to learn um, to master several skills. Instead of teenagers, we're using the words young adults. We're saying it's a simple process. We're kind of combining the first two sentences into one kind of shorter sentence here, really. 
This next paragraph or sentence that's highlighted throughout your educational career, you'll be asked to do several research essays. In the conclusion, we changed it to be one that you will be required to do again and again as a student. So we've kind of changed the sentence up just a little bit, but it's pretty much the same sentence. And then finally, these, um, these few lines here that are underlined in yellow, we've done it the, again down below. Do you see how similar they are? So once you've got your intro written, you've essentially got your conclusion. You just need to change it up just a little bit. All right, you're done. We've talked about body sentences, conclusions, and in previous videos, we've talked about how to do an intro. We've talked about how to brainstorm and plan. You guys should be ready to go for your research essay. I can't wait to read them. I know you've been really finding some good information out, and um, I think it'll be really good. I'm really excited to read them. So don't forget to do the digital with, press submit, and we'll talk about this more tomorrow. Thanks, guys.